Hey everybody, today we have a couple of winners on the table. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. A couple of them. First of all, we've got the new aluminum Chevalier. Or the Chevalier 2. Chevalier 2. We got four versions of this, guys. If you're familiar with the Chevalier, we released it um, previously with uh, like G10 and uh, Micarta scales, liner locks. And now we have an aluminum handle button lock, four versions on the table. We've got the black with that new Damascus. Love this stuff. Um, this stuff is a huge hit, guys. Um, if you're looking for gifts or if you want to impress somebody with like a, a really impressive looking knife, this new, new Damascus, that's it. That's the ticket right there. It does look really cool. I think this one has like some like upside down waves happening. The teeth. Or like teeth. Tooth pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Then we also have the full blacked out version and a gray aluminum version with the black, um, which gives you a really nice contrast to two tone. Um, really like this one. And then a really beautiful orange with a satin blade. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, everything we love from the shell. Uh, I always he can't say that word. He's never been able to. I've say never it. been able to. It's Chevalier. Chevalier. Or the but Chevalier. As, Chevalier. As, as, as I always, as you, as you may know it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so keeping obviously all these great aspects of the knife, super clean. Sheep's foot, leafy sheep's foot. I want to say blade. Mm -hmm. Great ergonomics, and then yeah, I mean, with the aluminum, that the button lock is just working. So. Super fidgety, um, nice long fuller for a middle finger flick, um, or the flipper tab, or just the button open. This one's good, I like it a lot. I've always liked the Chevalier. Um, I like it even better in the aluminum. Um, that button um, has a spring underneath it, it gives you just the right amount of tension so that it's not accidentally depressed, but uh, feels good when you press it to disengage that lock. Um, really, yeah. really nice. DK pocket clip, you do have a lanyard space right here on there, so. Pocket can... clip is reversible. Yeah, looking good. Should we jump there into those specs real quick, even though you may already know them? These are gonna be a little bit different than the original Australia, so yes, let's hit the specs on here. The overall length is 7.98 inches. The blade length is 3.47 inches. The closed length is 4.52 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inch. The handle thickness is 0.47 inches. The weight is 3.18 ounces. All right, there you have the specs. Um, on the Chevalier, you're gonna be able to pick this up for right around $70 for the uh, 14C28N blade versions. That's the same as the original Chevalier was. Um, and uh, right around $100 for the Damascus version. Fancy version. Fancy. All right. And Speaking that's today, right? Available right now. Yes. We're getting those right now. So yes. the time you're seeing this video, you can go pick these up. Yes. We have more button lock aluminum goodness. <laughs> we'll do a little switch over here. You should recognize this uh, pattern or this uh, design right here, guys. This is the all-time favorite Praxis, but this is the aluminum button lock Praxis. So the original button lock, uh, sorry, the original Praxis was a liner lock. Um, we now have it in aluminum with a button lock and this incredible aluminum. And I love the colors that we're getting out of this aluminum. Like this lime green is, is on point. This is cool. Yeah, it definitely gives a nice pop, especially with the contrast of like the satin and that green. Mm -hmm. so. so four versions of the new aluminum button lock Praxis available right now. We have the lime green with the satin. We have the silver aluminum with the satin all blacked out version and black with, again, that new pattern Damascus. The Paraxis was already kind of really nice fidgety knife with the flipper, really nice blade. And so just push the, putting the button lock on there, we're now just gonna get, I mean, even more fidgety. Yeah, it works really good guys with the aluminum. Uh, the Praxis, it makes it feel a little bit more premium. We've got a nice back milled backspacer here with a lanyard hole in it. You've got that reversible deep carry pocket clip um, just a great action on this thing. Um, nice full size blade, um, nice and nice and tall with beautiful swedge on top. You guys know the Praxis. It's it's an all time favorite, best selling model. Um, this one is going to do fantastic. And if you already have a Praxis, you're gonna love this one. Yeah, add to the Praxis family. 
Yeah. Let us know, though, um, what you think about this versus the original, especially after you get a chance to get one of these in your hands. Um, when you buy one and you check it out compared to your previous practice, let us know in the comments what you like um, or what you feel is different, better, or worse. So one of the biggest differences is in the blade steel. So the original Praxis was 9CR18 MOV. This one is Nitro-V. Or Damascus. Or Damascus. And the new Damascus. I mean, we're talking yes. about that with the Chevalier. The Chevalier. Chevalier. Yes. Why do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hit the specs. The overall length is 8.62 inches. The blade length is 3.75 inches. The closed length is 4.87 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inch. The handle thickness is 0.47 inches. The weight is 3.94 ounces. All right, guys, your price on this thing is going to be uh, pretty much the same as the Chevalier that we just looked at. Now, you'll be able to pick it up at dealers for right around $75 um, for the Nitro V versions and about $95 for the Damascus version. And that is, again, today, today. you go pick these up. This is our first lime green. I, I'm liking it. I am too. It's, it's different. It's really nice. It pops. So that's that's probably what I'm most excited about here. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for the blacked out versions on both. Always looks good. All right, next up we have two brand new versions of the we the Civivi Sakoki. Did, did you see that? I got it. I got the double flick. That was on point. That was a second take, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyhow, we have a new natural G10 um, with a bead blasted blade and a dark green micarta with a Damascus blade. And the Sokoki guys, if you haven't tried this one yet, this is a good chance. Um, if it's sold out, if you missed some of those other versions, it's hard to find. Here's a brand new release. It's available right now. And this is a really, really good knife. I wonder if Kyle could do a double front flip. Was he chained? Yeah. Like that? Oh, oh not like that. Not like that. Hold One on. more try. Hold on. There it is. Oh, no. Yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, almost. Third time's a charm. There you go. I did it. The front flip on this knife is really, really good. Even if you're not good at front flipping, this is like a. Well, it's so um, dominant. It, like, it picks up really well just right mm -hmm. over there. So you can get your thumb right across. And you can sit there and just practice just that thumb roll until you can get the actual like, flick out. Yeah. It's got a, a um, inset, uh, nested liner, nested liner lock. Yeah, and the, the pocket clip is also recessed as well, which is flush, and the screws are all flush right there, and is reversible. You also, like we, we talked about kind of like the opening method is, yeah, front flipper, or you have the thumb set on there. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite working knives. Like, it feels so good in your hand, and it's just a user. It's ready to be used, and it's fidgety as I'll get out. Yeah, and, well, I mean, even with like the, the detail, like cutting this out right here, it comes down so that you can actually see, like get your thumb in there to disengage that lock. Mm -hmm. Yep, a little bit of a, a recess here on the, the frame to give you access to that liner lock. Um, skeletonized liners, the, this Laconico design, guys, this is a great one. Um, don't miss this new drop. So the blade steels on the Sokoki are 14C28N uh, or Damascus. And the price on the 14C28M version is uh, going to be about $63 from your dealer and around $95 for the Damascus version. All right, guys, there we have the brand new Ray Laconico Sukoki available in two new SKUs, right along with the new aluminum button lock Praxis, the new aluminum button lock Chevalier, and a bunch of other stuff that we're releasing right at the same time. So check out the other videos on this channel as well as the Wii YouTube channel. Um, this is a big drop, so make sure you check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. See you on the next one.